Hello everyone, welcome to Manning Bay's YouTube channel. So today is the third day of our governor discussion. So far we have discussed about basic mechanical governance and then we move to uh, hydraulic servo governance and finally up to compensation uh, arrangement of the governance. Uh, and then uh, these all governance are uh, sensing of speed actually they are working on the speed of the engine depending on the speed of the engine they are direct coupled and uh, with this uh, drive shaft and this flyweights and uh, ball head arrangement uh, response according to the uh, engine speed so apart from that today we are going to discuss uh, speed and load sensing part actually why do we need to sense the load what is the importance of this load sensing part so it's a good question and so we have a good answer as we can see if the engine is supplied with the constant uh, supply fuel and there is no load change the engine will run at the same speed but as soon as the load is getting raised or lowered depending on that the rpm will fluctuate if the load increase then the engine speed will lower so in such case the first come with the is the change in load not the speed the speed to get affected so first the load has to change so if we can sense the load first then we can do more much faster correction so we can have much faster response so that is why we need load sensing parts in the governance so then we can have more faster response and more accurate uh, sense then we can maintain our uh, in case uh, our in our voltage system in our case of our generator uh, we can maintain constant uh, voltage throughout the load uh, changing process okay here is the arrangement of the load sensing part. Uh, the left hand side, yeah, that we have already discussed, a bit familiar. For that same part, this load sensing part added. We can see the similarity is uh, there is the power piston, we call it speed power piston here. And the same arrangement here they made here is load power piston. Actually, this is the piston which moves the fuel racks. So we use a hydraulic piston to increase the governor effort, to in, uh, increase the uh, output torque. These things we discussed in our earlier videos. So, and there's a pilot valve. It is same like the pilot valve arrangement in the speed part. And this pilot valve is controlled by a different arrangement. We call it a solenoid. A solenoid coil is there so the this solenoid will move make this pilot valve moves up or down depending on the signal getting from this load computer so the load computer is the one which calculate the load in case of it uh, in uh, electrical system this load computer will sense the voltage and current of the bus bar and then it will calculate the present load and as per the load variation, it will make the correction signal, corrective signal that it will give to the solenoid. And depending on that, this valve will move up or down. Suppose the load is in a prime uh, main engine. So in such case, this load can be a uh, torque measurement type, uh, some kind of uh, load measuring uh, arrangement so after that load measuring arrangement the load computer will do the correction so suppose due to some increment of the load so then the load computer will send the signal to this all right so to move this pilot valve to up then this port will open and high pressure oil will enter into underside of the load power piston which will cause to lift this against the spring pressure and increase the fuel to engine in opposite if there is a lower uh, in load then the load is getting lowered then this pilot valve moves down and this 
oil will drain through this port causing the fluoride to move down. So this is the arrangement of speed and load sensing governments. Now we'll move to our next session uh, that is the comparison and the discussion about actual UG8 governor. Mm -hmm.